Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Cover, an only YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And I'm going to show you a little bit of how I'm going to jet this well in. I'm not using my regular dr drilling rig. This is an old one. It used to be 10 feet long but I got it stuck in the ground because I had it uh, unioned to another 10 foot piece. And when we hit about 15 feet, uh, clay caved in on it and I couldn't pull it out of the ground so I had to cut it off. So we've only got about 4 feet of pipe here. But we're going to show you how a jet works right now. Now I've already dug a hole with the post hole digger. And you're going to have to do that because a jet will not go through roots. It won't go through grass roots, shrub roots, or tree roots. So you're going to have to make sure to get the, you know, the living organisms dug away so you can get your jet into some dirt. And it won't uh, dig through hard clay or rock. It'll only dig through kind of loose sandy soil. It can be sandy clay. It don't matter. And I think I'm in sandy clay right now. But anyways, we got this in. Turn on the water, and ain't a whole lot of pressure, but just enough to keep water coming out. Now, I made this one with a three-inch sewer pipe and sanitary fittings, which are not made for pressure. But because so much of the water is coming out the other end, it's not as high pressure as what is coming to the hose. Now, when you're, you're doing this, you can bounce it around to kind of break things up. You can turn it. And another thing I like to do is just sit on it. A good thing about sitting on it is you're just sitting there still, but you can feel little crunchy <laughs> feelings of the dirt breaking away as this thing's going deeper and deeper. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going down. About a half inch right there. Now I'm not going to drill my well with this rig. I don't need to pu be pushing three inches of pipe through the ground. That's a lot of work. So I've got that two inch that we made the other day. Now something I forgot to uh, say when I was putting it all together if you notice, there's a little black hose in here. You're going to have to get one of these. This is a washing machine hose. And the reason you need it is because it's made with a female end on this end and a female end on that end to hook to a washing machine. Since we're using uh, a regular spigot uh, faucet, then we're going to have to have a female hose end. And we can't get a regular hose that has both of those because a regular garden hose is female on one end to hook to your faucet and then mail on the other end. So this just makes it so that we can hook a standard garden hose to a faucet on both ends. All right, I'm not gonna go all the way down with this just because I wanna make this video kind of short. I got a low speed internet connection. Uh, when you get enough of this pipe in there and it starts meeting resistance, it can be pushing you out of the ground. So it is a lot of work. Now what we've got here, it's just representative of what the actual drilling rig is going to be like. But on this one, instead of having that half union ball valve, what I've got is just this uh, sanitary washout. And so we're going to pull that cap off of there and just show you kind of what's going on. Now, watch out. When I turn the water on, you can see what's happening. It's filling this pipe up. It's actually coming out at the bottom quicker than it's filling up. But there you go. Anyways, what we would do, once we're at this point, say this is my other drilling rig and it's 20 feet down, which I don't think I'm going to go 20. I think about 15 is where you hit clay. We would just open the top of the drilling rig and drop the pipe down. Now you're going to make sure that the pipe you drop in there is not so short that it falls down where you can't reach it. Once it stops, you're going to pull it up a little bit and saw it off drop it back in there, put your cap back on, and then you're going to turn the water on to push your drilling rig out. When the drilling rig comes out, the well pipe will still be in there. And in fact, it's in there forever because once this comes out, the walls of that hole are going to cave in and grab it, and that's it. So anyways, if you get stuck in a survival situation, you're going to need water. And if you're at, the, at your house, the best way to have water is to have you a hand pump already ready where you can just pump it out of the ground. You ain't got to purify it, ain't got to filter it, nothing. You can drink it straight out of the ground. People did that for hundreds of years. If you don't want to survive, don't listen to me. 